So what's happening here is I started a beat and I was like, hey, hey man, what if we just start recording this? So now we're in mid beat, but it's all good. I'll still show y'all what I did to everything once we get this together. Why is it popping, bro? Unfiltered audio and dentu. Honestly, I never even really used this, but I heard great things about it. We about to figure it out right now, though. I like the little distortion. I could go crazy. I think it sounds okay. I need to really like put headphones on so I can like see where it's at. I don't know if the 808 is hitting or not. I can't tell. I hear it sounds good, but I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's going boom or if it's going boom. If it's going boom. That's that limit. I don't want it to be limited. And that's what I need to figure out if it's doing that. Maybe it's that hard clip. They have distortion in here too. I probably really just, all I want is a little distortion, turn it down. Actually, what I'm gonna do is, just so I don't have to delete that setting, I could save it, but I'm also gonna do this. Oh, and mess with it some more. Distortion in, I guess distortion out, or soft clip and distortion out. The only way to know is to mess around with it. What was it before this? It sounds like it's hitting. Why is the snare so fucking loud? It sounds crazier than I thought it sounded from back there. Just need to find a kick real quick. Throw this here. Come over here. Something, um, something Metro showed me. I'd rather do it through the FL plugin. It's accurate. Dog. Bro, it's not moving. See? Watching those video games turn this shit into one. Started glitching. I was about to blow the cartridge, pause. Hit a hard reset on this. The sample, by the way, is um, that's right. It might sound a lot different than the, the actual samples because I heard something in it, like a certain section, and then I put an effect on it to make it more like airy, 
which was um, Transit by Baby Audio. I love this plugin. It's crazy. It does so many things. It really, for real, it um, it does like transitions depending on where you want it to be. It could be through the whole track if you wanted to. You can automate it, put it in a certain section. And this basically controls the modifications of the knobs and like what it does. Basically, I don't know if you can see it, but those black dots are basically moving on each one of these, wherever it's con controlling. They're moving so that as it's moving through the transition, no matter how long or short you put it, it goes all the way to the top and then it'll transition. It'll start sounding like, like it's fading or it'll sound like it's distorting or it'll sound like, it, but in slow motion and then it'll just snap back to um, what you had it. That's fire, but I don't use it for that but you can. I use it just for like certain things. I like the reverb, I'll just use the reverb. I like the auto pan, I'll just use the auto pan. I like the phaser, I'll just use the phaser. Chorus delay, OTT. It really depends and then they got this randomized button that you could just keep hitting random until you find something that you like. And then they got a bunch of presets. Man, this plugin is ridiculous. But um, I put this on the sample at first and then I rendered it. First, let me play it without this on. Yeah, so I don't know if you heard, you, you could tell basically what it's doing. I actually might have to save this uh, effect because I like it. I hit the random knob and that's what came up. So anyway, I did that to it and then I rendered it. I got all this other stuff here because I was just trying stuff on top of the drums that I made. We ain't about to listen to that right now. This ain't what this is about. Then this is the rendered and then I found some somewhere I wanted to cut in it. And then I put another plugin on top of that after I rendered it. So let me mute the plugin that I put. In. I'm going to tell you what it's called when I open it because y'all be saying, where's the plugin? So let me just like show you what I did first. I cut it up and I changed the key. I went down a couple semitones. And then um, I put this plug in. But I like just the way it looks, for real. Looks like Windows 98, like something you would find in there. This is called Digitalis and it's free, I believe. I got it a little while ago. You can go um, check it out though, see if, it, if it's free right now, they're selling it. It decimates your sound, big crushes, it pitches, it does form it. This paint thing is like, it's crazy, damn. Let me open another one. I don't want to mess this one up. Yeah, it does this time repeater. It has so much, bro. And you can like mute certain parts of it if you don't want it. I can mute the decimate part, the corruption, what they call the corruption. I can mute the, the repeater part, which they call time. And I could just use this, the data. So basically here on the data, it goes by like, they call it paint. This plugin is so hard. The waves. The waves make it sound wavy. Let me play it. So you can see what I mean. It's gone by what's drawn. So it's like an imager or it's affecting it through like what's drawn. I could actually draw something myself and it'll play through what I drew. Freaking crazy. And uh, that's the intensity, uh, how much. Um... Nigga, that's your phone. Nigga, that was your phone. This nigga had the damn vibrator on. Pause. That's hard. I might have to do something like that. 
Look, they drew a Mona Lisa and it's gonna play according to what's black on the screen, how it should sound through the picture. Anything that's white is silence. That's not ridiculous. That's insane. They got wild images. They got a cat. Why? This plugin I've been using for a while, I'm definitely gonna continue using this because it gives interesting textures and I really rock with this. Yeah, let me go back. I might I might keep that, this one. I actually like this one. Might mess with that at some point. Print it or something. I think it's cool. I think it sounds all right. And I'm not capping. I just, I think it just sounds all right. I feel like it's hard, but it needs like some change or something. Some has changed or not. I could be overthinking, which I usually do a lot, but yeah, you know, I might have to get a second opinion, but this, this is hard. To... Or I could just add more and then do the process of elimination. And then what we really don't like, we won't keep, but this is a great foundation though, for sure.